What defines French New Wave cinema? For some, it's the unmistakable style, the look, and the energy. For others, it's the unique directorial techniques and the nods to those who came before. The spirit of French cinema itself. For me, it's the visual language and often one singular performance that anchors the narrative. In Francois Truffaut's The 400 Blows, Jean-Pierre Leo doesn't just mimic his director and the formative events of his life, he embodies all the tension that Truffaut once felt himself. But these negative vibes led to something positive, the joy of new discoveries, the joy of cinema. So when Antoine runs, it's not just an act of rebellion, but a willingness to explore new territory, inspired by moving images, inspired by visual language. Naturally, Antoine attempts to connect with his parents through movies. And, for a brief time, he does. Still, an emotional void leads to disruptive behavior. Even though Antoine's imagination helps him cope, he doesn't yet have the life skills or the appropriate guidance to stay focused on his goals. And so just as Truffaut the teenager got locked behind bars for bad behavior, Antoine must process hard times before chasing his dreams. As a whole, Truffaut's direction is polished yet still raw, genuine yet still innovative. Likewise, Leo does the same with his performance, and you can tell that he connects with Truffaut's material. Overall, it's that creative bond, that kinship through cinema, that brings each scene to life. Leo doesn't just play the adolescent rebel, he provides his own spin. And, when it's time for Antoine's biggest adventure yet, which may provide clarity or cause more trouble, probably both, Leo doesn't merely follow instructions, he channels Truffaut's past. Taking the audience back in time, flipping Antoine's world upside down. Whether you value life structure or life adventure, the 400 Blows suggests that following your mind's eye will take you places only you know. Somewhere you've always wanted to go.